Hello, welcome back to Let's Build. So one of my favorite things about Minecraft is building cool structures, big grand projects. Now what we're doing in all the mods, which is very cool, is that we've kind of gone through the mod packs and we're doing it all legit. However, without a jetpack, without a lot of the building tools, building some of the bigger projects is a real labor of time. It takes so much longer to make anything outside of creative mode. However, that said, I want to make sure everything I build for all the mods is done with materials that we've already obtained or are very easy for us to grab. So as we swing around, hello, how's it going? So today I'm going to be building the first build of the series and it's going to be Ben's science lab. We're going to put the mechanism stuff in here, I hope. And I also want to build like a computer and stuff and put all the technology of the mod pack series into this building. So we're starting off with a simple marble design. We're using marble bricks here. And we've just built a square around it that's roughly the size of the first floor. Now you see this odd kind of uh, oblong at the back, this cuboid. That's going to be the elevator system. Now to make this build, uh, I looked up a lot of futuristic sci-fi buildings on Google, Google Images, and Google Images is the best place to look for cool buildings and ideas to kind of get you started. Most of the buildings I found were from games, uh, but one theme that I liked was uh, science buildings with lots of gardens and kind of nature around it, and you'll see what I mean later. And that's why we've got uh, a kind of front balcony bit on the front of the building. I wanted there to be an elevator shaft at the back of the build, and then those two towers that you see I've built there as well. Those are going to stretch up and go really tall and kind of have some futuristic sci-fi architecture with hopefully some uh, glass as well to make it look all sciency and clean. So we've got marble bricks uh, and basically when you get a chisel in the mod pack you can make all kinds of different marble and what we've used here is just most of those things. I wasn't sure if I wanted pillars here or steps, but I finally uh, finally finished with steps and uh, I didn't want to kind of leave them one, one step and then one blank. So I kept uh, a full steps look. Now what I've done here is I've used blue stained glass, which is basically just glass panes and blue dye. And I think it works really well. You kind of have that window feel. It looks like a normal window, but it also looks very clean and the blue makes it feel very clinical and very sciencey. So I filled in the sides of the building with that and also loosely did the elevator shaft as well with some blue stained glass. So I built these little kind of balcony bits around the back as well. And like I said, we're going to keep that nature angle going on with this build and uh, put two kind of basically like plant pots uh, and throw down some grass on that layer. I'm using marble pillars as well around the outside. It kind of looks a little bit Roman, but I think that's fine, really. It can be like a Roman sciencey building. Imagine if the Romans, ne the Roman Empire never fell, instead they became <laughs> a science civilization, sure. So I expect, I like the shape of like circles. So instead of just having a plain old square balcony, I came out and made the, the front porch or plant pot basically, the front balcony with all the nature stuff made it look a bit more interesting, gave it a bit more shape. Rounded it off at the sides, but then kept it square at the front. I left two holes for water fountains, because what else says uh, garden, like a water feature? And then built the rest of the stairs around before filling in the, uh, the top layer of grass. Now I did change the type of bricks that I used multiple times, but ultimately it didn't matter for this layer because, well, it's going to have grass on top, so it doesn't really make a difference. It's not really seen. So you can see I put that water in. And actually the blueness, the blue kind of hue of the water fits in with the color scheme that we've got going on with the glass panes super well. Now, something I discovered as well is I thought, hang on a sec, I've used glass panes. They kind of look like iron bars. 
And I've used iron bars as fences before, so what if for a futuristic sci-fi building, I use just a layer of uh, blue stained glass as a fence? And so that's what I did around the garden area at the front, and I think it looks really good, so it's something I'm going to stick with. Now, building the first tower was the most important part of this build. Getting this to look right was going to be quite tricky. I had to have a white frame with blue stained glass on the inside, but I wanted it to look futuristic and sci-fi. I wanted it to kind of like have a pattern to it. But whatever I created on this tower, I could quite simply copy and paste using World Edit. And lucky enough for us, World Edit comes in all the mods remix as like a baseline mod. So I didn't need to mess with the mod pack and I don't really need to worry about stability either. So once I had a, a pattern I was kind of happy with, I filled it in with blue stained glass. Obviously this was like a, a back and forth kind of look at the project, look at the sides. Does it look right? Test it. No, it doesn't look right when it's on the other side. It took me a long time to get a pattern I was happy with, but I did finally do it at some point. I think it was like the giant E shapes that I went for on the end. Yeah, these kind of like uh, prongs sticking out that hold up the stained glass. And I wanted a side pillar as well on each of these sides just to kind of brace the building, give it a bit more volume and depth. Otherwise, it was a bit too much like a square, like a flat square side. So with the loose idea of how I wanted to do this tower in place, it was time to put a door on the front, fill it in with the blue stained glass, and basically get it to a point where I was happy with it. Because whatever I do here, again, I'm going to copy and paste. So if I do a job here, I'm saving myself doing that job on the other tower at the end, which is quite important. And I wanted to future-proof it as well, so I built uh, some more layers of marble along the inside and even put in uh, a floor out of this dark, uh, I think it's spruce wood. And I love the kind of brownness to the spruce wood there, it's like dark and rich, a much nicer wood than oak. So with one level complete, it was time to copy and paste that a few layers up, fix some of the pillar stuff that was going on there. And paste again a couple more times. And then now that I was uh, halfway up the tower, I want to do something kind of funky with the top part of this tower. So I built it backwards, kind of. As you can see here, I built some kind of stairs out of marble blocks. And then built this cool kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like a weird kind of wedgy shape at the top. And why did I do this? Well, for no other reason than I think it looks sci-fi and I think it looks cool. But again, I kept that kind of prongs of marble sticking out and filling the interior with that blue stained glass. There we go, nice, I like that. But of course, it kind of hangs over the back a bit, so I wanted to put down a pillar kind of wedge at the back to kind of show that I was holding up the back of this architecture with some marble uh, infrastructure, some kind of holding, holding triangle stuff. And with uh, one side done and the other side done, I kind of built back, connected the two sides and put some decoration at the front and the back as well. You can see these kind of long, long, thin rectangle windows that also look very sci-fi, especially with that blue glass inside them. There we go. Yeah, super happy with the style that I've got here. And as soon as I was super happy with it, I could literally just come over to the other side of the build, copy the entirety of this tower and then paste it over to the left. Bam! Instantly done. So obviously pasting like this left me with a few problems because uh, the inside of this tower is the outside of the other one, symmetrically. So I need to go back and, and finish some of the fixings. I also added uh, some bricks at the front to give it a bit more depth. As you can see, I tried some things out. But with the two towers in position now, it's time to think about the elevator. So with the elevator, because the elevator blocks that we're going to use, I thought were going to be open blocks elevators. They're not easy to make and we haven't made any yet. So I didn't want to put them in the build. I wanted that to be something that we do when we're playing normally in the sessions. 
So I left that open for now. It's basically just a big empty elevator shaft. So if we want to use this bad boy, we're going to have to get in there and fix that up. I spent some time tinkering around with the layout of the marble and the glass here. But ultimately, when I was happy, it was time to go down to the garden and get down to one of my favorite parts of these builds. And that is doing the nature parts, so putting down saplings, bone mealing them, putting in the water fountains, bone mealing the grass to get some flowers and some natural looking kind of long, tall grass. And then coming around the front of the building. And I wanted to repeat the idea that we had before with the, uh, the blue stained glass as fences. And I do think it looks really nice. I also used some conventional hedges or oak leaves, put some roses behind them, and then a layer of uh, leaves behind them as well, just to give that a whole bit more like kind of structure. And you can see at nighttime, with all of the lights inside the building lit up, this place looks pretty awesome. Now I used inverted white lamps to light up this map because I'm super happy with how they look in game. Also, I took a look at the recipe and they're very simple to make. I can literally go in with what we've got in the mod and in the series and make one of these blocks very quickly. So splashing them around felt like it was something that we could easily do in the session. Oh, it's a beautiful build. And honestly, building this, I cannot wait to get back in game, play some more and work out what we're going to build next. If you have any ideas about what you want to see us build next, drop me a note in the comments section and I'll take a look. If you're enjoying the series, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like. Become a YouTube member if you fancy it. I would appreciate that. And until next time, until the next big build or until the next Minecraft session, take care.